Hey guys, Tommy here, the Tommy Borg, and I'm back with another video. Now, this video is actually going to be a sequel. Now, as you know, I already did a video of the Apple app called Find My iPhone or, or Find My iPod, but I thought about it and I didn't do it so well. So, in case if you don't know what I mean, I'll post that link in the description below. So, I decided to do another one, but this time it's much better with no hidings at all. So, let's get the app started. So, we're going to use my iPhone 4. And as you see, I'm going to click sign out that way, and I'm going to focus it here. Now, the first thing I need to do is sign on with my, with my iCloud credentials. Just a second. So as soon as I sign on, you can see all the devices that I have. So right now I only have two, which is the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 4th generation, which I'm going to use in this demo. So let's choose a device. Let's say the iPod Touch. Alrighty, so I can see where the iPod Touch is located on the map. So of course I could zoom in. And of course, there's my street right there. And now if I type on this, now if I tap on the circle of the iPod Touch, you see I get several options. So, in iOS 7, or maybe at the time of filming, this is actually, well, the iPhone 4 is running iOS 7 because it cannot be upgraded to iOS 8. So, maybe in iOS 8 there will be new features, but maybe that will be in a future video. So, I have the option to play a sound, do lost mode, or erase the iPod. And now, if you've seen, and now you've seen all of this in the last video. But now I'm showing you the screen instead of hiding the personal information. So, let's go ahead and play a sound. And in fact, I have my iPod Touch right here. So, actually, I'm going to open up the flap. That way you can hear the sound. So let's go ahead and play the sound. So as you can hear, that's the sound playing. Well, it doesn't actually show the screen. And that's because I've put it in Do Not Disturb. But if you were to take it out of Do Not Disturb, this would light up the screen and then say, Find My iPod Alert. So of course, so, of course, really, this would be still running, but if I swipe to unlock, it would stop it, and then unlock it. But now, let's say we're afraid that someone has stolen this, and we don't want to have them, and we don't want them to have sensitive data on it. And we, we also have the option, we also have the option to put it in lost mode. So, if we put it in lost mode, let's turn on lost mode, and now, let's type in a simple passcode. Let's type in a simple passcode. Now we have the option to call a number. I'm not going to do that right now. And we have the option to put a personal message, but I'm not going to do that right now. So we click done. And now we see that it's locked. Now it's in lost mode. And as you can see, probably on the iPhone 4, lost mode pending. Your iPod will go into lost mode when it's connected to the internet. So of course, now it's in lost mode because it determines that this iPod's connected to the, to the internet. So now if you're going to use the iPod, you'll have to type in that password, but of course, anybody who stole it, they presumably will not know the password. And if I want to, since I'm very afraid, I could also erase the iPod. That way, I could that that way I could um, uh, erase all my data and then have it restart it, and then I could get it back and then put back all my data on it. So it's gonna say you want to erase the iPod. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now, but what will happen is that it will shut down and then restart, just like as I said. But now. Um, so basically, and of course, what I like about this app is that you can see the battery life of your device. 
But also, I'm going to say this. In a future video, maybe, maybe in the next two couple of videos, I will be doing the iCloud demo. So, as you know, Apple released a website called iCloud.com for where you could go to the Find My iPhone website and then track it that way. So, I will have a video on that, maybe in the next one, maybe two videos after. But I will know that I am definitely going to be doing that. And of course, let's say that, well, in case if this was an iPhone, in case if your iPhone was stolen, and if it had a Geo, and if you had GPS, you could tap on the car icon, it takes you straight to Apple Maps, and then you could simply follow the guy and track it. So basically, so thanks for watching this video. This video was a video of a of a good video of the Find My iPhone. So thanks for watching and I will see you again. I'll see you again in the next video.